Hello everyone, welcome back to FIBS MTP your multitasking partner. Today you will learn a very interesting topic. This will make your life easy. My target audience for this video is businessmen and working community, either work from home or dealing with international clients and partners. Before moving to the topic, I will let you remember that don't forget to subscribe to FIBS MTP. Keep updated yourself with my new informative and knowledgeable videos. So now let's talk about today's topic. Do you have ever heard about Google Workspace, how it works and how to log in Google Workspace? If not then let me clear you. What is Google Workspace? Basically, this is everything you need to get anything done, now in one place. Google Workspace includes all of the productivity apps you know and love, Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Meet, and many more. You can work collaboratively in a fluid online environment. Now you don't need to worry about having so many application. That also occupied a lot of space in your computer. Just work smartly with Google Workspace. Google Workspace packs everything you need for a productive and connected office. Google Workspace is a set of communication and collaboration apps built for people and organizations. The core Google Workspace communication apps, such as Gmail and Google Meet, are widely used around the world. Google Workspace gives your organization more control and more features, so you can secure documents and data. Collaborate more effectively and leverage advanced features and programs to make your teams faster, more collaborative and better informed than ever before. As a service for productivity, collaboration, file storage, and cloud performance, Google Workspace is definitely one of the most secure tools on the web today. In fact, Google actively works to ensure that its customers are well protected, with security checklists designed to aid modern mid-sized brands. This is especially powerful for customer interactions where you're pitching a proposal or walking through a document. Where before, you could only see the file you were presenting, now you'll get all those valuable non-verbal cues that come with actually seeing someone's face. Google also recognized that reinforcing human connections is even more important when people are working remotely and interacting with their customers digitally. It's what keeps teams together and helps build trust and loyalty with your customer. And because you know many companies are implementing a mix of remote and in-person work environments, Meet supports a variety of devices with the best of Google AI built in. From helpful and inclusive Series 1 hardware kits that provide immersive sound and effortlessly scalability, to native integrations with Chromecast and Nest smart displays that make your work experience more enjoyable, whether that's at home or in the office. So let's talk about how to log in Google Workspace and how to get started. I will show you few steps. Just type Google Workspace Login, you will be directed to many informated links. Choose the specific one and get straight with creating new account if you don't have any previous one. For new account, first you have to type your business name. Then specify number of employees including you. Specify location. And go to the next page. Then Google Workspace ask you about contact details. Add your first and last name, then specify your active email address. Go to the next button. The will ask you about your business domain, if you have any domain name for your business then select the other option. I have selected for the new one. Now in this new page, search any domain name for your business. Choose any favorite one and see the next result. Now you will see all available domain names with different prices. Choose any domain comes in your range. And go to the next to see what come after. I have selected the cheaper one. Luckily, I have got the domain name with selected criteria. Read the description and go to the next step. Then they will ask you about your business details. Just fill out all the details correctly, like address postal code and everything. They also ask for your number to send some promotional messages. If you are interested just give your consent, otherwise you can refuse to them. Then they ask you the details like how you want to log into Google Workspace. 
Basically here you have to write your any username and password which you should keep remember for next login to Google Workspace. As you can see after creating a domain of your business, now username ends with that domain. Like in my case I have choose username autolavajo and the seller seated domain was at tris.pw. So after creating username with combined domain, my full username for next login would be autolavajo at tris.pw. In this way you can create your own domain with your business name and use that officially Gmail for your business customers and clients. After giving all details just agree the terms and conditions and continue. If you have some doubts, then read out terms and condition before agree to them. The most interesting thing is, they will give you free trial. You can learn in that free trail time period. I am going to end here. I hope you have learned much more about this astonishing product that Google have introduced in replacement of G Suits. Google also bringing Google Workspace to education and nonprofit customers in the coming months. Education customers can continue to access Google tools via G Suite for education, which includes Classroom, Assignments, Gmail, Calendar, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Meet. G Suite for Nonprofits will continue to be available to eligible organizations through the Google for Nonprofits program. So, keep in touch with FIBS MTP for learning much more about new and informative things. Till my next video, take care goodbye.